Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Today we've got a CCNA and CSENT video practice exam for you on some Cisco router fundamentals. I'm going to bring up a screen in about 10 seconds with four practice exam questions and then we'll check out the answers on live Cisco router. So let's dive right into today's questions. First off, what are you about to configure when you see your router prompt read config-if in the paren after router? What are you about to configure? Second, you want to overwrite your current startup config with the current running config. How would you do this using the copy command? Question three, where will the router look for an iOS image to load during the boot process and in what order will these locations be checked? And then fourth, as I always say, we're always playing detective in this business, and this is a great command to know. You want to see how long it's been since a router's been reloaded and also discover the basic reason it was reloaded. What one command shows you both bits of information. You should also know about where that is in a command because there's a lot of output with this one. That's your hint. We will check out all those answers in just a moment. When you're done watching this video, head out to udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. You'll see a full list of all of my free and paid video boot camps out there. And this being middle of November 2012, I'm going to add several free courses out there for the CCNA and CCNA security courses and CCMP switch over the next uh, 60 to 90 days. So you definitely want to head on out there and join us. And I've got a free one right now for the CCNA, the on-demand OSPF video boot camp. This is a great lab. It's got all the NBMA stuff in it. All the stuff you have to do over a hub and spoke network with OSPF. Very popular. And we've got almost 1,700 people right now in my 2012 on the go video boot camp. And right now, when you click redeem it and then put Bulldog 60 in and click apply, you get in the entire course for only $44. It is a fantastic value. So definitely check that out when you're done here. Now, let's look at these four questions. When you're looking at that prompt, this means you're about to configure an interface when you see config-if. And it's one of those things, it was a little tricky for me to get used to it, you know, when I, when I started with Cisco routers, because, you know, you've got a config mode, an interface config mode, and a you know, protocol configuration mode when you do router OSPF1 or router rep, something like that. So you just watch your prompts on your exam. Now, with overriding this, the main reason I'm bringing this one up is to make sure you're clear on the right syntax of the copy command. So if you're copying the running config over the starting config, let's take a look at exactly how you do that. Now, the copy command is not complex. But especially in multiple choice, this is one thing you got to just be really good with. The first location you put in the copy command is where you're copying from. So if you're copying the running config over the startup config, there we go, then that's where you would put copy to startup configuration. That being the full command, of course, you could just do a copy run start and you'd be perfectly fine. But just make sure overall you're very clear on that for multiple choice questions on your exam. The first location is where you're copying from. The second location is where you're copying to. Now, where's the router going to look for the iOS image? Well, first, it's going to look in flash. That is the default. Second, it's going to look toward a TFTP server if we've configured the router to look for one. And then third, it's going to actually look in ROM. So again, that's flash, TFTP server, and ROM. Now four, a very handy command here. You want to see how long it's been since a router's been reloaded and also see the basic reason it was reloaded. I'm going to show you two different outputs for this command on two different routers, I should say. What one command shows you both? This is a command you're used to running for something else. It's show version. And this is a good one to know because the config register setting is here. Now you often have to hit the space bar one more time to see it because the config register value is at the very bottom. But near the very top, you're going to see how long the router's been up and for what reason the system restarted. Very handy stuff. Also shows you exactly what your iOS image file, and you can see it was loaded from Flash right there. And that's really good in case you think a router's been balanced and you know you've got another admin and they're saying no 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 one here has restarted the router believe me I've heard that one a million times then you run this it's like hey it restarted 15 minutes ago let me show you the output on another router because with power on what you see there when I'm not using my routers in a lab I'll go ahead and turn them off 
And here, when I started it on, that just means that nothing specifically restarted it except the fact that I turned it on. What you're most likely to see after I hit the caps lock, what you're most likely to see in the field is something like this. Now this router was actually up, you know, I powered it on and then I reloaded it again. And that's why you're seeing, you know, system return to ROM by reload. And again, there's your entire image file. So a lot of handy stuff there for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video practice exam. And thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA and CSENT success story.